the idea of disclosure, Iran won't tell the truth. We had to go in there, you know, is Israel's position, and s steal this information so we can know the truth. Disclosure as an issue should work every way. The United States should say what it has. You know where I'm going with this. A yes-no question for you. Does Israel have nuclear capabilities and nuclear weapons? Yes or no? Uh, we've always said that we won't be the first to introduce it, so we haven't introduced it. But that's and not an answer to the question. Do you have them or do you not? Of any country. It's as good an answer as you're going to get. But I'll tell you one thing, Chris, and I think it's important. You know, Iran signed an NPT. Iran signed all sorts of uh, commitments. Iran said that they don't have this nuclear weapons program. And Iran calls daily for the annihilation of my country. Absolutely. We don't do that. We understand anyway. that there is an existential threat from Iran and others. We understand that Iran is known for lying on this issue. That's one of the big motivating factors for the deal in 20, uh, 2015, as it was explained to us. But what I'm saying is if disclosure matters so much, what message does it send when you won't confirm something that is widely believed by the entire international community? How does that inspire the spirit of disclosure? I, I said that the... I said that the, it's not the spirit of disclosure, it's commitment, a specific written commitment by Iran as part of the deal to disclose what it has. Iran undertook that specific commitment. I understand, but you know what their the take on it is, lied. is that you won't That's even confirm point. that you have nuclear weapons when the world already believes that you do. Why? Why keep that quiet? Well, you, you can make all your assumptions. One thing is clear. Israel is not threatening the annihilation of any country. And My point was just that if what we want is for people to come clean about things, everybody should be open and honest. We'll